Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's do a couple of simple examples trying to find the unknown inductor and the unknown capacitor using the AC bridge circuit. We've discovered these equations. Notice that the, the reversal of the ratio of R2 to R1 for inductors and R1 over R2 for capacitors. But notice it's actually a very simple manner to find or method to find the unknown inductance. So L sub X will be equal to the known inductor, we'll call that L3, we can call that R1, R2, R3, and R4, so to speak, or Z1, Z2, Z3, and the unknown Z sub X. So L sub 3 is 0 0.2 Henry's, and we multiply times the ratio of R2, which is 200 ohms, divided by 100 ohms. So in other words, L sub X is equal to double that, or 0 0.4 Henry's. When it comes to capacitors, the only difference is the ratio of the resistors. So the unknown C sub X is equal to the known capacitor, 2 millifarads multiplied times the ratio of R1 over R2. And there you can see that the unknown capacitor is half the known capacitor, so therefore C sub X is equal to 1 millifarad. And AC bridge circuits are easy to use and they get very nice accurate results, provided that the unknown capacitor and unknown inductors, of course, are accurate uh, devices as well. And that's how it's done.